Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is the African American History and Women's History Month in February and March of 1012, uh, 1011, sorry about that. And we have with us a special guest, a guest who uh, I would like to introduce to my audience this morning as my granddaughter, uh, Miss Alana McLaughlin. And of course, McLaughlin, Lachlan, uh, let me welcome you to the show this morning, uh, Lana, and, and, and tell you how delighted we are to have you here. And to uh, let our audience know that it is indeed a privilege that we are able to have you with us this morning because for the last two years, uh, you've uh, been over my shoulder and uh, almost insisting yes. that somehow Doc, uh, Pawpaw, as you refer to me, provide a situation that will allow you to sit in that seat. And I think over the last couple of years that I've seen you develop to such an extent that I've felt comfortable in a real sense in introducing you to uh, my audience, which I've had for the last 28 or uh, 29 years. Uh, and, and they are familiar with what we do here, but I can assure you that they've never seen a young person as young as you on comments with Dr. James Haney this morning. So let's, uh, this morning, uh, Alana, open up our show by having you to give us some information about uh, your uh, family life, uh, some information about your school, uh, information about uh, your church, and perhaps then talk about uh, Af African American women in history as well as others. Now, let's talk, Lana. Yes. Well, my name is Alana McLaughlin. I am eight years old, and I go to Glen Hens Option School. Very good. And in addition to going to a Glen uh, Option School, uh, why don't you tell me something about your family? Well, my mother is Cheryl L. Haney. My father is Michael L. McLaughlin. My grandmother is Mildred J. Haney. And my grandfather is Dr. James E. Haney. Very good. And of course, uh, uh, you also uh, uh, quite recently uh, had uh, a, a tragic uh, situation in your family in reference to your grandmother. Why don't you say something about your departed grandmother first? Well, this morning? Uh, my grandmother was named Mc Louise McLaughlin. She recently passed, and she will always be loved and missed. Very good, and, and, and of course we're glad, glad to have uh, you to uh, sort of represent her because I think what you're talking about this, what you'd like to talk about this morning, uh, also includes uh, your school. Uh, uh, you've, uh, you're eight years old and you've attended a uh, number of schools since uh, uh, you started school. And why don't you talk about uh, the uh, first school that you attended uh, uh, during the uh, preschool and perhaps say something about the first, second, and third grade. And you might say something about that great uh, report card that you received at the end of this term. Talk about your activity in school a lot. Well, I started my education at Napier Enhanced Option School with teacher Mr. Downey as my pre-K teacher and principal Michael Ross. Very good, and then you went from there to your second grade, and uh, where was your second grade spent, and who was the teacher there that uh, had some influence on you? Talk about that. Well, in kindergarten, my teacher, I had a teacher, Pat Harfield, then um, I had a First grade teacher, Mrs. Jennifer Berry, mm -hmm. and principal, Brenda Steele. And all of them played a very, very important part in your they did. life. As a matter of fact, I think they allowed you to uh, speak every morning on the uh, loudspeaker in, in the in school, did they not? Announcements. Um, you made announcements. You made announcements to, uh, to, to the a lot. a lot of announcements. Yes. Now, what about uh, your third grade? You're in the third grade now. Are you I not? am. Mm -hmm. Well, I started um, at Glenton Hens Option School for the second grade with teacher Trudy Vest, and now my current teacher is Miss Wendy Anderson for the third grade. And and, and and you've got a good principal there and everything. Um, uh, Laura Snyder. Very good, and 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 so you're really uh, making progress in school. Why don't you tell us about that great report card that you got uh, quite recently? Well, I don't want to brag, but I got all A's. Okay, and very good. And and, and, and so what? And I understand that you're reading on a, on, on the fifth grade level, are you not? I am, a, four, a, a 44. Very good. And and you're also involved in uh, piano. Uh, why don't you tell us something about your piano career? Uh, well, I take piano lessons at Shalom Music Center with teacher Pat Turner. Good. Uh huh. And, and and have you all? You've also had some recitals. I understand. I have. Well, why don't you tell us something about that? About some of your experiences doing those recitals. Well, I've had a lot of 
experiences of such as playing in front of me, uh, 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 a lot of people at McKendrick Village. Very good. Uh -huh. And speaking of McKendrick Village, that is also uh, one of the churches that you've been affiliated with. Uh, in addition, why don't you say something about your church? Well, I go to John Wesley United Methodist Church with Pastor Elijah McGee and First Lady Sheila McGee. Uh -huh. I also acolyte and attend Sunday school with, with Miss Cecilia James. Very good, and so you're having some experience, and you're also a member of the children's choir there. I am. From what I understand. And, and dance class. And dan as well as dance class, and, and you're too modest to admit that you uh, were, what, the homecoming queen. <laughs> yep, one last time. year I raised uh -huh. the most money. Okay, <laughs> that made you the homecoming queen because you were able to raise the most money. Very good, and that, that's your introduction to church. Life, uh, uh, life. Also, uh, Lana, I, I think that since this is uh, one of the last things we have, and let us thank you for being with us this morning. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, and good morning. Mm -hmm.